And now we are back at it again with quite another one of these things that I just don't understand in our fandom. But before I get into just too much detail about this, let's play that intro. <laughs> What's going on my fellow fuzz butts? Zubba the Circle here and I'm back with another video just to educate my people. And I'm gonna be a little up close and personal this time. I'm gonna be a little in your faces right now because this is another one of those things that just has to be addressed and I quite understand not as to why this thing keeps on happening. And you know when you save all that hard-earned money just to commission somebody, whether it be for a fursuit or for some art, you know, it doesn't really matter what it is, but don't you just love it when there are that select few amount of people that'll just accept your commission, accept that good hard-earned money, and then just pff, disappear. They're gone. Not a trace to be found. Nothing to be found. They're just gone, 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 and it kind of makes you wonder why that is. <sighs> I just, I don't understand it, and this is something that you guys need to be very aware of. Make sure that anybody that you commission, you know them very well, because these things can happen. Some people, they set these things up just to scam people. They'll go searching through the internet looking for random pictures, and they'll be like, oh hey, this is my stuff, so yeah. Definitely watch me, even though they stole that from a maker. They could have stole it from a maker that hasn't made anything in years, so it's gonna be kind of unlikely that the original maker for that content would find this new person because they just probably don't care right now or they're not taking commissions right now, and so the word may not get out. And then here they are, just foddering out all these quotes and, you know, accepting all this money and stuff, you know, racking up hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars, whether it be for art or for, you know, first student commissions, you know, things of that nature. And then they're just taking that money and then all of a sudden there's no, they're, they just take that money and then without a trace, just gone, they vanish because they save up their money and now they can just go do whatever they want to with it because there was no obligation for them to, you know, actually do something for you. Even though that there was because you paid them your money, but they're on the other side of a computer so they could just turn it off and never look back. And there's nothing that anybody can do about that except spread the word about that person. That's why things like, you know, artists beware, you know, stuff like that. That's why things like that exist that way. That way whenever somebody's name gets put on one of those lists, especially if it's there more than once, then you know very well to watch out for that person. Oh, this is just the type of thing that grinds my gears. Ah. You hearing what I'm saying, Mikasa? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes. Oi, 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 oi. But back onto the topic at hand, <laughs> before it kind of trails off a little bit, always make sure that you get, always make sure that you form some sort of familiarity with the first suit makers and you know the uh, art commissioners and the artists and stuff like that because that way you can actually have a heads up as to the type of person that they are, whether they're legit, you know, have more examples of their work. Hell, you could also make sure that they have very viable evidence for their work. Whether it be that artist makes streams or the first suitor has like, you know, videos or like tutorials and stuff or they make bases, you know, things of that nature and they've taken multiple pictures and they have a very updated, you know, social media and stuff like that. Make sure that they stay updated and that they're posting content regularly because you don't want to commission somebody who's been out of the loop for like months or even years. You want somebody that's been constantly polishing their skills and, you know, getting better and better and better and, you know, continuing to push out content and stuff. That way you can see their improvements and you can know that they are in fact legit because fakers are out there and they will take your money and they will be cold blooded about it. They will not look back. They will not think about anything to that point. Ah. <sighs> Which is ultimately the point I'm trying to make for you guys. So definitely be on the lookout for that. 
And I know that this video was a little bit weird because I'm like standing and I'm all up in the camera and stuff, but I'm a very expressive person and you know, usually in most of my videos, I'm just kind of sitting there in a chair, you know, waving my hands and stuff like that. And I want to like show you guys more of my personality, like get out there, just mm. <laughs> But yeah, so you know, if you like me to be a little bit more expressive like I am now, then I will definitely do that for you guys. Ah. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. So, if you like this video, go ahead and scratch that like button so that I can go post more awesome content in the future. You want to talk to me? Have some Twitter. You want to stay updated as well as know what next Q&A is going to be? Q&A is coming soon. Have for affinity. Want to draw fan artists out of the circle? Fan artists, always welcome. Keep it clean. Make it dirty. Who cares? Just make me some fan art. Ugh. Not a demand, that's more of a request. You know, if you guys want to make fan art, fan art is always welcome. But as always, my name is Abba the Sergal, and I'm out of here. Pfft, blah, 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 blah.